Polaris did a great job of designing this. If you get a 2020 with Ride Command, it has this awesome speaker under here. You see that right there under the dash? That's all a speaker box coming over there. This is the the back of the glove box. <clears throat> have all that. It comes up into the dash up here. Hopefully yours will be connected. That gray wire is the wire to the speaker. Mine was not connected. It goes all the way across there. You can see the top of it down there, the little round part. And it's great. Sounds awesome. Very impressed with it. But, if you want to put a heater in, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. Because now they can't sell a heater and the right command to the same person on the general. You see that little figure eight shape piece there? That's where the heater goes. And above that, just out of sight, is where the heater box bolts on. These are the, this is the bracket that comes off of the heater box that all the hoses go up through the dash. That fits on here. That fits on there like that. This here bracket goes around a bar that's holding that speaker in. This is what I was talking about, the figure eight. This is where your hoses go through the radiator, and then there's three bolt through places up underneath the speaker, just out of sight. You can see in the wheel well here, if I have my flashlight. All right, bear with me. Right there, you see the the figure eight and these three points here the heater goes right there that speaker comes down to right here and then it's in the way of the hoses because all those hoses have got to come up through this area and you see there's very little space there And even if you were to get the box to fit in below the speaker, somehow, this bracket right here that feeds all your hoses, for example, see there's nowhere, bear with me here. Okay. There's nowhere that the hoses can fit through. They can't fit through there. There's not enough space here for a hose. There is a little bit of space right there. We got four hoses that gotta go up through there. So that's kind of a problem. The heater is gonna win over the speaker in my situation. So more than likely, that subwoofer is coming out and that amplifier right there will have to get relocated. As you see those, that bracket right there with that screw into that square tube, there's another screw right behind the amp, you can't see it. I'm pretty sure that's exactly where the heater box is supposed to clamp on. And then all your hoses would come up through this area right here and feed to your different points on the dash right there right there down here you can kind of see where the circle is and then two spots come out 
in the dash for the frost. One is right about here, just over the amp. So I am going to try a few things to see if I can get it in down below. But even if you found a way to get it to fit below the speaker, then your passenger is going to wind up kicking it. It's going to probably destroy it. Your hoses are going to come out and be down lower. And they'd be down in this area if you were able to get it down here. Whoops. Sorry. They'll be down coming out of this area somewhere if you were able to get it to fit underneath the speaker. So good job, Polaris. If you call them, there's customer service. They'll do a little research, and then they'll come back and tell you it's not compatible. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See ya.